Did I get through? Don't be stupid. You're safe now. Just give it another shot. Or however many it takes. That's right! I'm sure everyone back home is cheering for you, working hard! Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Guess I haven't grown a single bit. See, my hometown's out in the boonies. Only one bus every three hours, and my school only had eight students. So when I passed the audition, Oh, the whole dang town came out and congratulated me. They all really believed in me and told me that I ought to listen to the people here. I wanted to make them happy. So I told myself I'm gonna do anything if that'll sell the group. But that ain't all it is, huh? I mean, it's important to sell and haul, but if I wanted people to really like me, I'd have to work on my own dang charm and share that with everyone, yeah? You're dang, uh, damn right. Well, it ain't a bad thing to want to make folks proud, but if you gotta throw yourself away to do it, then hell. Might as well have someone else do it. That just sucks. So what do you do? Simple. Just live up to their expectations in your own way. All right, my mind's made up. First thing when I get back, I'm gonna go talk to the agency. Maybe I ain't that cute. And maybe I'm a runt, but I'll sure find something I'm better at than anybody. Then, when I'm ready, I'll start showing folks who I really am. So they'll eventually lack the entire me. I think that's great. But, um, the agency might have a tough time figuring out how to promote you. What? Rizzy Senpai, ain't you gonna help me out? Oh, you gotta do something like come on a show with me together, please? Ugh, Sumomo, you got your snot on my outfit. C come on, you're ditching a little too much cuteness. You're still an idol. And, and why are you still calling me that when you don't have to be all cutesy anymore? What is this? It seems to be a door. I can't be certain where it leads to, though. Hold on, I'll check. Persona! Hmm, looks safe inside. I'm not sensing any shadows behind the door. Hey, wait a second. This is the door to our studio's dressing room. At Takara Productions? It does seem vaguely familiar. It's definitely it. I'm sure of it. I've been through this door more times than I can count. Well, how about we go in? Beat's just standing around talking about it. It does seem safe here. I detect no signs of an ambush, either. It is a bit different, but yeah. This is our agency's dressing room. How in the world could it be here, though? Hmm? I don't hear that spooky song in here. The hell is this place? Feels like a totally different world than outside. I don't know. Is there a purpose to this, or is it mere coincidence? Tarnation is this? Something's written here and it's downright creepy. It looks like some kind of note. 
What's this doing here? I know what I want my songs to express, but everything important will go unsung. It's my fault. She has done nothing wrong, but she takes all the blame for me. I can't stand it any longer. What is this? It feels like a diary entry of some sort. I don't know. Dude wants to say something, but can't? And everybody's bagging on some girl, but she's actually covering up for the dude. Guess he feels bad about it. Uh, what gifts? Kanji-kun is using deduction. Huh? It's amazing how humans grow. I never thought I'd see the day Kanji would use his brain. I can barely contain myself. I'm so happy for you, Kanji. What the hell do you mean by that? Ugh, what a racket. Even in a place like this, you're squabbling and fighting like children in a playground? <sighs> Honestly, can't you be more civilized? Ah! Um, Miss Ochimizu! Huh? W wait, really? But didn't you get snatched up by that ribbon stuff? That's correct. It was, well, surreal, to say the least. But when I came to, I was lying on the ground. So I walked here as I assessed the situation. I'm sorry, but you walked here? Did you not come across any sh- <clears throat> Anybody suspicious along the way? Yes, I did, but they didn't do anything. They just vanished into thin air the moment they saw me. I was surprised at first, but... If that's how they are, then there's not much point in dwelling on it, is there? What? How they are? That's it? Ahem. <clears throat> um, excuse me, but despite the odd situation, you don't seem terribly surprised. Why is that? It's a waste of time and energy. Standing around in shock won't accomplish anything, will it? That is... true, but... I'm not as inflexible as you'd think. Taking everything into account, it's fairly obvious that something supernatural is going on here. But as of now, I doubt that my actions will bring about any positive change. So why even panic? You, on the other hand, look to have far more experience in this field than I do. You instantly reacted to the situation when Konami was about to be dragged in. I'm assuming you've come here to save Sumomo and the others? Well, uh, yeah. Then you have my gratitude. Thank you. At the very least, Sumomo is safe, thanks to you. What, Miss Ochimizu? Uh, please stop that, I mean, we only... You only what? Only did what was natural? Then it's only natural for me to thank you as well. wrong with you? Can't tell if you're really grateful or not. You have an opinion on the matter? No, damn it! Ugh. You're a major pain in the ass, you know that? Just get on with the conversation already. So, Miss Ochimizu, why are you here? You seem like a rational person. I think you came to us for a reason. As a matter of fact, yes. I'll get right to the point. If you're going ahead, leave Sumomo here. You clearly aren't faced by incidents like these. But it's not anything Sumomo and I are used to. If we were to stick together, you would have to constantly worry about Sumomo. I need you to save all four of the girls. Any potential unnecessary issues should be avoided to ensure success. Moreover, Sumomo doesn't appear to have the energy to go with you.
Momo-chan, you look pale. Uh, are you all right? Yeah. I, I just got a pretty fierce dizzy spell. She's in no condition to travel, whether she goes with us or not. So Momo-san needs some rest. Yeah, you're right. I don't sense any shadows around here, so it's probably safer to stay in this room than go anywhere. And I gotta admit, if we all move on, I don't think we can handle the shadows while protecting Sumomo. But, 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 but is it really okay to leave Momo-chan here all by herself? He's right. Sumomo-san would feel anxious if she were left here alone. Alone? No, I'll stay with her. Did you forget? The mob outside won't attack me. And even in case they do, two of us will have a higher chance of survival than just her alone. Don't do anything risky. You should be safe as long as you stay quiet in this room. Understood. Did you hear her, Simomo? Yes, ma'am. Go whenever you're ready. I wish you luck. All right, guys. Let me contact Senpai before we leave. I want to see how they're doing. It'll only take a moment, so everybody take a breather, okay? Hey, I still don't have a handle on her, but you think that Ochimizu lady ain't as bad as we thought? Kanji-kun, she's still in earshot. <laughs> 